Thank you, Glenn Wallace. <laughs> Uh, I was looking for salt from last night. We don't have any new stuff. Right. This one was there. Okay, everyone. Uh, we j I know it's difficult this morning for those who are planning to come to the church. Uh, the roads are awful, but anyway, we made it, those who can get out. Uh, let us rise and have a half kimbe before our God, our heavenly parent, our true parents of heaven and earth and all mankind, all humankind, and our true family. Chanju, Chanjiyam, Pumnam Ke, Kembe. Not all. Let us offer a prayer this morning. Our precious, loving, heavenly parent, our true parents of heaven, earth, and all humankind, we greet you with a pure, willing heart. This morning, we are acknowledging our completion of six years of Hunduke, consecutive Hunduke, here at the Washington Family Church, the National Cathedral. We're acknowledging Heavenly Father also, and most importantly, the ascension of our elder brother, the first son of the true parents of all true parents of heaven and earth and all humankind, Hyogenum Moon. This is also his sixth year of being in the spiritual world, launching the seventh year. Here on this date of March 17, 2014. Father, this morning we are here to celebrate, to acknowledge and and um, to have a memorial hunduke in honor of our elder brother Hildeman and also the consecutive six consecutive years of hunduke and launching the seventh year here at the Washington Family Church here in the El Washington D.C. in the Elder Son Nation. Father, as we go forth this day, we are launching and proclaiming from this day forth that all that we have traversed, that we overcome, that we have transcended, the course that we have went through, and we went through it with the heart of saving the elder son nation because the elder son is so so important to the whole overall dispensation. The elder son has the heart of the parents. And the elder son takes care of the rest of the siblings. And to transfer and to transmit and to give the information in the heart of the parents to the rest of the siblings. So how important America is, how important Hyogen is to the province. And so our heart has pleaded throughout the course, that we want to save this Washington, D.C. church. We want to finally actualize True Father's dreams, hopes, and expectations for this place. And True Father's dreams and hopes and expectations for El Elder Son Nation, True Parents. And that's why True Mother now has already commissioned herself to focus on America. And as she says, focus on the Elder Son Nation. Because as the mother, she, wants, she will make sure the elder son will do right and succeed. And so this morning, as we happily acknowledge this historic moment, we pray for the divine will and the divine heart. And that this divine word that we listen to every morning of our true parents, that has revolutionized our hearts, invigorated us, 
open our original minds to different heights that we have never thought was able to do to the fall. But, Father, the truth sets us free and allows us, Father, to take responsibility as sons and daughters of God, of our Heavenly Parent, of our Heavenly God, our Heavenly Father, and our Heavenly Mother. We thank you. And we just open up this prayer, uh, this Hunnike uh, session on March 17, 2014, uh, launching our seventh year. Together as blessed with your family, and in my name is Gregory James Oliver and Oliver family, we all do report. Aju. Aju. And I'm going to allow our cake afterwards. You can bring it in here. Yes, I forgot my glasses. Thank you. I'm going to read them to let you read those. Okay. Uh, we're reading from page uh, 363, uh, uh, section 2, Support for the Movement in the Unification Church North and South. I'm going to read one part. And, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, we are gathered here to achieve our goal. We know very well that the, in the situation of the divided Korea, because I was jailed in North Korea, I know very well the situation of North Korea. We have to liberate them, and even though we may need to do many sacrifices. All of us must be seriously concerned. It has been 40 years since I prayed in front of God after crossing the 38th parallel. I have been living these past 40 years with the desire, with the desire resolved for unification. And even single-handedly, I want to cross the 38th parallel and liberate this desolate communist country. Father couldn't continue to speak because he began to become emotional and was crying. I am certain that this is destined. This is that it is destined that a fight remains to be fought. Ladies and gentlemen, before you give me respect and honor, please promise me that you will deeply remember in your hearts this miserable nation and that you will pledge to go forward for its liberation and unification. In order to bring success to this big movement, we must be united as one, whole, united as one, whole body, we have to go forward hand in hand and be determined to shed sweat and blood and offer our actions sincerely. Young and old, man and woman, intellectuals and illiterate, we have to strive for the ideal of unification and the goal of the liberation of North Korea. Pledge and pledge and pledge. If your faith is strong, God can work with you. Uh, the back door. If your faith is strong, the back door. God can work with you. So please absolutely desire, excuse me. So please absolutely desire us about being victorious and be a living encouragement of your friendship and colleagues in your working place and in society. I really wish that you can be successful and understand the fact that it is not only we but our 
also our brothers in the fallen country who are hoping deeply. I cannot accomplish all this by myself. So now we need tremendous funds. Since I know the providential mission needed to accomplish this, combining the entire six million Korean people, I am determined to tell you a, the minimum donation at this time. I hope that you can connect to this spirit and quickly contribute to the movement. Thank you very much. Go ahead. We have Glenn Strait who is here this morning to read a word or two. Page 364. Three, establishment and goal of the National Federation. One, the motivation and background of the National Federation. Who made this National Federation movement for the unification of North and South? Father, no, I mean by whom was it made? This was not by Reverend Moon, but by Heavenly Father. Today, I am the architect of a worldwide organization that is carrying the worldwide fortune and strongly dominating from the edge of the world in the spirit world to the individual, family, tribe, nation, and world. And in this position, I was banished worldwide. As you know, it is not easy, the National Federation movement for the unification of North and South. Heavenly Father has to be the leader at the very front. It is not good if Heavenly Father is not together with us. Today, South Korea, as the central nation of the world, should be connected with heaven at the axis of love. This should be 38th parallel. It should be the pearl gate of the twelve and should be the golden gate where one can enter heaven. But what is that gate now? Hanmunjang. This became the gate of the devil. This should have been the gate that is connected to gold, but it became the gate connected to destruction. There is where righteousness and evil confront. Righteousness is pursued and evil has gained power. It is hit by falsehood. God's will is to get rid of this thing. Reverend Moon is doing this as a representative of the whole world. We have to defend there as well as in America and in Japan. Because of the division of North and South, we have to accomplish unification by connecting to God's original love, making an offering for the resentment of the world. Therefore, through the liberation of God and humankind, we can step on the problem of this nation and everything will center on the ideology of love. Therefore, the National Foundation Movement for the Unification of North and South, centered on the unification of the fatherland, desires to join there the preparation of a glorious ideology of eternal love and eternal liberation. It will open the gate to the kingdom of heaven where we can live together with Heavenly Father for eternity. Do you understand? Yes. I came back to Korea, which is still connected to the right side of the realm of the individual, the family, the tribe, and the nation. I came back to Korea to bring the realm of victory. Thus Cain must surrender to Abel. Is that wrong? Because I brought that kind of fortune, I could establish the National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South. When the Korean War happened, the communist people broke through the 38th parallel. You have to do more than them. How many years did the Communist Party organize? Three years. They prepared for the invasion of Korea in a period of three years, from 1948 to 1950. So we have to act within three years until I could at last accomplish the way that America should go, because I was in the position of a pioneer, I could not return. 
Heavenly Father has taught me to become aware that everything is connected here. If not, I would have returned to Korea a long time ago. Why do the Korean people come and work here? Is that wrong? After building the path where heaven could go, where heaven could reign, truly I could go back to my own country. Heaven could come to our country through the world stage. Not to go through that way, that is a different thinking. So from now on, by the organization, National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South, I could connect the way which can connect with the world and the unification of North and South. People who are wishing for the unification of North and South are also wishing for the appearance of one whom heaven recognizes as the righteous ruler, so that this time, by establishing the National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South, the South Korean people see that only Reverend Moon is striving for the unification of North and South. This is not an impossible theory. It's definitely fact. Even the government cannot do this. Can President Chung make the unification of North and South? Kim Il-sung said, let's unify North and South. Can he unify North and South Korea? It's a dream. Right after World War II, global division started. Christianity in America couldn't unite with the American nation, and the Korean people couldn't unite with Reverend Moon. I had to make indemnity on that level to make two points into one. But Reverend Moon made the Federation centered on God and centered on the Unification Church as a perfect foundation for people to place power in all kinds of directions. Reverend Moon made the foundation. We cannot be like those passing by in the street drinking alcohol and muttering, oh, what a good feeling. Already we are being surrounded from around the world. We have to bring back our seat over the level of the neck. We have to bring back our seat over the level of the net that surrounds us, which is connected to America, Japan, and China. In order to establish the environment to begin the National Federation I established in October 11, 1986, the Federation of the Unification of Professors and Students. The head of a university expressed astonishment as to why Reverend Moon was doing that kind of work. Page 366. It's like cooking beans, also like lighting a candle, but at that moment the providence was very urgent. Being so busy, I could not look back and time passed so quickly, especially 1987, during its establishment on, 18, uh, on April 13 and the declaration on July 29 of the National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South was a very complicated time nationally and providentially. Since we started the unification movement in such a dangerous time, this organization will be considered strange and remarkable. Some rich people who had a lot of money, some political people, and also people who want to succeed in life, just left. They didn't do anything. The situation was similar to dying. But we were the only ones shouting with a big voice. So the unification Last year, on campus, a leftist movement tried to attack one member. If this unification church member fights with them, he will automatically win. This unification church member's name, where did it come from? This was the name or slogan given by the leftist movement to this member as he fought at the central campus of the university. During that situation on the school campuses in the entire country of Korea, who else beside us was giving speeches centered on university professors and famous people in society? This was the big challenge. This was so dangerous. On May 15, with this kind of foundation, we established the National Federation. Was it made by a nation? Who made it? Absolutely, I made it. Uh, Ezra?
Ezra Cream. <coughs> Four. Foundation Day. That time comes only once. We should yearn and prepare aggressively for the time because time waits for no one. Just it just passes by. If this doesn't transpire, heavenly fortune will be very different. So there is no time for night or day. There is no night or day. In order to accomplish this, we cannot rest. Getting tired is not a problem. Thus, this time, we organized the National Federation Movement for the unification of North and South. Why does Reverend Moon absolutely have to organize the conference before May 15th? It is the season similar to spring be before summer. This is when all things are restored to life. Looking at the whole situation, which year did the May 16 event occur? 1961. The new sovereignty was born centered on the fortune like May 16. So we had to do it before then, not after. At this time, the whole Korea, Korean situation should be like that, since it is, since it didn't, it did not happen according to God's providence. Confusion has transpired. The opposition party is confused. The government party is confused. People themselves cannot find direction where there should be, where they should be going. The religious people cannot act and no one can guide anyone. We are all tightly connected. The spirit world and the physical world are divided, as well as the east and west, north and south. To overcome, we need to do it like this. All fortunes go together intensively regarding the organization of the National Foundation Movement for the Unification of North and South, so and so said that it cannot be done. Also, so and so said, I am dying too busy. When, when is it a good time to do it? It is a good it's good to do it during summer vacation in July. Did I say June? You say June. It did not, it's not June, laughter. There isn't time. Reverend Moon has to do it, has to do it. Everything, everything this time. How do they fit together? Screw, bolts, nuts, Turning together, it's similar to that. It's very interesting, very strange, mysterious to find out this point. Who is there? Heavenly Father is there. That is the name of... What is the name of Heavenly Father? Can you understand? Actually, it is easy. I know that it's very difficult to make a different association in America under the terrible storm of criticism. I have to direct them to, the, to everything. However, they don't understand. It's more important than the National Federation Movement for the unification of North and South. We have to do it by May 15th. Then people who come to see it will comment, Hey, you did it. 
did you <coughs> did you do it just because you were compelled anyway you did it you did well in if it was possible how good it could be around June but that is wrong it's good after it's good after May 15 some religious people can say let's do it let's do Chongdo Gyo on the uh, Kyongryong mountain on May 16 and it will happen what with that kind of confidence I wanted to build the pan national organization for the unification of north and south that is why I pressed to do so by May 15 after the 16th people will ask oh what is Reverend Moon doing he is just in imi imitating and copying we might hear this kind of comment if it becomes like that our image will become bad so I pressured people to do it quickly like feces evil things smell three or four three or four days later no one wants to touch it this time Reverend Moon came back to Korea to organize the National Federation movement for the unification of North and South. At this time, the conference stopped and the government domination was taken away. So, the Korean people now follow Reverend Moon. Do you understand? Yes. This is the way for South Korea to be in union with Reverend Moon. If everybody, all families, Kim Il-sung, North Korea, does this then we will have a situation of saturation and abundance this saturation will overflow, overflow if it cannot fit anymore centered on Reverend Moon connecting with this situation of saturation it can elevate towards the worldwide course from then on, it will not come down. Here is the ideal world, one equal world. It is returning to a true world. Dr. Shiro. Okay, thank you. We continue our reading on page 367. Five, the goal of a national foundation. <coughs> Which national federation unification movement centered on God's original idea is unifying North and South? Therefore, to build that nation of heaven, we need to build a national ideology. Reverend Moon returned to Korea to make the National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South in order to make a unified Korea. We established the NMMUNS to find a shortcut to unification. What must we do? Not only the unification of South and North, not only the liberation of South and North, and North. we have to liberate Heaven, Father, Heavenly Father by liberating humankind. What is the center? We have to know that the center is true love. The National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South is the organization for the unification of North and South. People first need to make the federation, then do the unification, then do the unification movement. So we have to be united to mobilize 60 million people if the standard bearer can unite 6 million, then the 60 million toward the new Eden, then the world will directly become the perfect foundation for the kingdom of heaven and earth. Have confidence and faith. 
believe the words of Reverend Moon that from now on we have to defeat North Korea. What is taking responsibility? Heavenly Father cannot take responsibility. Reverend Moon also cannot take responsibility. Each person should take responsibility. Each person has to be the lib deliberated. Each person has to be liberated from Satan. In order to be liberated, what should each person do? Your family needs to be liberated. So what is the goal which put all power on this National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South? There is only one goal. The goal of the Unification Church, the goal of the Victory Over Communism League, the goal of the Federation of Uni Unification of Students and Professors, and the goal of the National Federation is the same. It is not two, just one. What is it? It is the family. Why the family? Because of the fall, the family was lost. So we have to recover the family. What is the goal of the National Foundation? When we do the movement for the unification of South and North, what do we have to defeat? Where is the focal point? What is the place where we should trust the general at attack? The standard of defeating is not in Seoul City. It is in all the district and the neighborhood. All leaders of the district and the neighborhood and the villages. Our own organization must bring all our power to that movement. What is the place of our front line? Of course, we all have to go to the district and the neighborhood and Lee and the neighborhood. But it is not good without initially putting a foundation in the town and the district. Do you understand? Also, without maintaining a base of 3,300 people in the whole nation, it is impossible to bring victory center on the town and the district. Therefore, that to defeat means that we, have, we can bring victory over communism armed only with the ideology. It is not good to be armed only with the ideology. Already the communists are trying to realize the ideal by making a nation centered on communist, communist ideology. During these 40 years, they are exerting themselves to actualize that ideal. But until now, but until now that has not been accomplished. They have the communist ideology and the benefit of action. But since the work is centered on the leading organization, the Communist Party, people forget about it. People quit, leave, and defect. By recognizing this event, we know that our time has come. Therefore, we can completely connect with the North Korean people by uniting with the foundation movement in South Korea. So the defeating movement in North Korea is the movement to defeat the district and lead leaders in North Korea. Here in this national organization, we indeed train and finish. The goal of the national foundation movement from now on is the movement of victory in the district and the neighborhood. If only we unite with this, the unification of North and South will happen. Even if only armed with the ideology to unite the district and neighborhood leaders, then we can unify North and South. It is not difficult to unite the district and the neighborhood leaders. We have the organizations, the Victory Over Communism League, the Federation of Unification of Professors and Students, and the National Federation Movement for the Unification of North and South. And all these organizations share the same goal, which is the occupation of the district and the neighborhood. I just have one additional me reading. Um, I want to read from the divine principle uh, the significance of the number seven because we are launching uh, number seven, the seventh year. 
here so um, please, I just had it Okay, to understand the significance even of the number 21, we should first understand the significance of the number 3, 4, and 7 in the principle God whose dual characteristics exist in harmonious oneness is a being of the number 3. The creation is perfected when it obtains oneness with God in the four position foundation. Thus, for an individual to become perfect, he must form within himself a four position foundation in which the mind and body form a trinity. The center of all of this, which is God, for a man and a woman to become a perfect husband and wife, they must build a four position foundation in which they form a trinity with God as their center. For the universe to reach its perfection, it must form a four position foundation in which human beings and the natural wor world form a trinity with God as their center. Furthermore, the created beings to realize the four position foundation by becoming one centered on God. They must first pass through the three stages of growth period, growing period, and complete the three objective purpose. For this reason, the four, oh, excuse me, for this reason, the number three is the number of heaven or the number of perfection. When a subject partner and an object partner form a trinity by becoming one centered on God, the resulting union is an individual embodiment of truth which completes the four position foundation. Having thus secured the status of God's creation. It comes to have the position and extension in the four directions, north, south, east, and west. In this sense, the number four is the number of earth. When we create beings, when created beings pass through the three stages of growing period, and builds the four position foundation, it becomes perfectly established in the qualitative dimension of time and space, respectively. Thus, every creation becomes every be creation becomes the perfect embodiment of the number seven, which is the sum number of heaven and the number of earth. This is the reason why the Bible recounts the creation of heaven and earth having taken seven days. Just as the period of creation fulfills the number seven, any period for obtaining completion may be regarded as a period to fulfill the number seven. Looking at the three stages of growing period in this manner, the period to complete the formation stage, the period to complete the growth stage, and the period to complete the completion stage are each periods which fulfills the number seven. In total, the entire growing period may be regarded as a period to fulfill the number 21. Amen? Ajou. So then Father gives, they give an example of all of the, the historical moments 
or these numbers were significant. The seven, the, the doves were sent out his providence, which was to carry out three stages. The doves were sent out seven days in intervals. Hence, the entire period, talking about the time of Noah. Noah sent out the doves three times to the four shadows of his providence. And then number seven, etc., etc. So this number seven is the number of the combination, the number of heaven and earth. Amen? And so we know that always when we complete that stage, that is a stage of absolute victory. Right? And so, and great things will happen. Thank you. So you can conclude with. And here's a familiar voice <laughs> coming. You know, anybody have any? Yes, anybody who wants to share, please. Uh, yeah, we have video, so you can press the microphone in our teleconference, just unmute, and if you're inspired of what, our, what we read today. Okay. Say something quick. I'd like to say good uh, morning to uh, Cole Janelle. <laughs> you know, we, we remember you in our heart today, and I just hope uh, people from all around the world are embracing uh, you because we never got a chance to do that. <clears throat> You're always busy. I'm sure uh, the Warrior family. It's always been that way for them because of the environment which we have created in this world. So, uh, welcome to the Washington family and all the brothers and sisters that are here this morning and those who wanted to make it and was delayed because of the snow. And of course, men represent heaven, women represent earth. Get the two together and you got seven. Lucky number. <laughs> Thank you, Nita. Anybody else, uh, especially in the... Yeah, Francis, this is Randy. Yes, Randy. Um, I remember um, Father's words about the uh, D.C. Church, the D.C. Church building, and uh, he was, he wanted this church to be lit up 24 hours a day to yeah. be a house of prayer and to be um, a house of uh, faith greater than any of the other churches on the Avenue of God, which is 16th Street. So um, I say congratulations to D.C. Church for six years. We've gone through the number six, and now number seven, we enter the, the perfection stage. And um, we have to keep the, the, the lamps burning. Um, and by doing so, the spirit world has to respond. It has to work with us. So let's keep moving forward and receiving God's word through Father and digesting them and becoming them. These words today were uh, significant, I think, for starting the seventh year century on Korea. Yeah. So uh, this is, again, this has, been a, this has been the focus of Father's work, and this is uh, deep in the back of all of our minds, even though we're not standing on Korean soil, but we're standing uh, on Korean heritage. So uh, uh, congratulations, and thank you very much. Yes, thank you, Randy. You're right on point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, Randy, for that, because I I, th I meant to say that also, but you, you beat me to the punch. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, it's interesting that we're doing this and that we're reading about Korea. Father's giving us a deep details of Korea. Uh, last night, I, I looked up one of Father's speeches uh, in regards to his coming out of Hanung uh, prison in the the, the, the course that he had to go through 
And one of the things that he mentioned that just struck me, he said that uh, after he left, got released and uh, by the grace of God, by God's hand, that he, um, uh, there were people who pledged their loyalty to follow him in Korea, in North Korea. And Father said that every, almost every one, except Wan Pil Kim and something, Jay, Pak J something, uh, Pak J something, that uh, pledged their loyalty to him to follow him. And there were others that Father spent close to 40 days in North Korea looking for each and every person. That meant traveling around, sending people out. Uh, he even mentioned one point that he sent someone to go get his mother, but they never came back. Someone to go get Wan Pil Kim's mother, they never came back. And as time progressed, he said that it got too hairy, meaning that the situation in North Korea was becoming more detrimental and the forces of fighting began to escalate. And one thing the father said that was really striking to me was that he said the reason why he is so happy, and this is the lesson to learn for all of us who are leaders in the providence or just people of absolute faith understanding the course, he said that why did he go and search for every person and many times all of them pro rejected him or fell away or became faithless but he spent all his time he said when he finished the last person after the 40th day then he felt that he was released and that the conscience of his the pains of his conscience were clear that if he would have went to South Korea without searching for one last person, then would he have been able to have the success? He said that he probably would have gotten to in South Korea and if he, one person was left behind without his concerted effort to find them, then his mission in North South Korea he would have found much more blockages. And he said it is great and it is important for every leader if you start something and complete it. And the completion is that you open up a new door so that God can work with you and Satan can be released from you and the pains of your conscience would not have to follow you. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend Oliver. Any other? Inspiration. <clears throat> Anything that you want to share about the reading today? In fact, we read some of it, the first yeah. part, yeah, on um, June. So, any. Something is happening now in Korea. They are, they have a plan there that they share. Both are working together, North and South Koreans. Really? Yes. So it's a development, and now they allow North and South Koreans to reunite. You know, those relatives that they were lost. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After the Korean War, they can get in touch. You know, yeah, so something is happening. So, uh, is there anybody else who wants to share? If there's none, let's all rise and have unison prayer. <coughs> Our most beloved heavenly parents are so thankful for guiding us protecting us and even <coughs> inspiring us and as if you are here in 
and in the day and in the We pray for you continue guidance as we go on to this seventh year of our Hunduke. We would like to congratulate your son, Yojin, who inspired many of our brothers and sisters. And we pray that he will rejoice with us today on his sixth year of ascension. And we pray also for all the school children that they too will unite with you, our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother here on earth. We pray for the success of all the true children, the true grandchildren, and all the members all over the world. We pray for the good health also of all the members all over the world, from the true family, true grandchildren, and all the first and second generation, and even the third generation of heavenly parents. We pray that as you use us to be your voice box, we pray that we can share this playback to all over the world, that we can do it. We can really reach that vision for you pray that true love is done for. And we pray that it will happen even earlier, our Heavenly Parents, and we can be there with our two mothers. We pray for all the good ancestors of our members around here and all the people around this edifice, the Washington Family Church, National Cathedral. We pray that as we become a magnet here, for people that they can really connect with us or to you through us. We pray our heavenly prayers that we can all be emptied with all evil things that was connected to us and all negative connections. We pray that every day we grow as decrease that really can shower and Give fruit and give give shadow to the so that they can only learn your will and your divine. We pray for the our pastor here in the districts as we learn today that if our leaders and districts would unite, we pray even for the mayor here, Mrs. Gray, and whoever to replace him. We can connect our regional <coughs> leader and the district leader with the mayors here so that we can unite all to all of them, north and south Korea, we pray. We can see the day when many of our brothers and sisters are united with their tribes and their clans, and we pray for the unity of our leaders and members, especially here in America. We pray that they will see that the guiding light is here in this most powerful nation and powerful city in the world. We pray that we can bring it good fortune and really share it all over the world from here. And we pray for each other success. We pray for Reverend Oliver, family, and Jesus, Pumisan, and Jesus, and we pray for each of the families to our tribe is our heavenly our heavenly care. We bring goodness to the world. We pray for peace, harmony, and good health, and healing for all the 
people around you. And we pray for my wife wants to let us have pray for her fiesta, her father, his classmates, and his wife and her husband. We pray all my friends and my husband. We pray that you will come to know you and bow to you in this lifetime. And we pray all in all our names and in my name. As a national friend, speak it on our blessed name. Family, our Jew, our Jew, our Jew. Uri, yes, all our cutting here and then okay. so that ends our hunduke everybody so just uh, look at our pictures no no we're gonna have a oh, cake cake okay yeah we're gonna they, they should we're gonna join sing happy everybody happy should yeah should join sing a happy birthday uh, happy anniversary for See yeah. us there. Yeah, you can see. So let us all sing. Uh, happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary to you. Happy anniversary, dear Yojinin. Wait a minute. Wait. <laughs> Let's do this right. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, in loving memory of you, in loving memory of you, in loving memory of you, in loving
Okay. That's wonderful. What? And the chili is good school. We go to college. Uh, so we need a knife in one second. Oh, sorry. I, I think my wife went to get one. <laughs> Francis went to get one. Yeah, just give us a second. Where's everybody? Hmm? Are people still on the call? Ooh, a knife, a knife, a knife. Mm-hmm. Okay, everyone, let's come together, blow the candle. One, two, three. Okay, now we can take out the candles. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on. It's online. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I have to leave if the government's not having a delayed opening. 